The wait is over. The latest camera from Polaroid is here, which has basically the same specs as the previous model, but we get filters this time. Introducing the Polaroid Now Plus Disappointment. Yeah, Polaroid will never sponsor me after this video. Let's dive into it. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. Okay, first of all, I just want to say right out of the gate, Polaroid, I do love you. I love you so much. I just don't love this camera. I don't know if I have a dud, but this is the first camera I have ever shot with where I can barely get good pictures with. I don't like doing negative reviews, especially off of a product or company that I adore. <laughs> I love you Polaroid. But I almost feel like it's my duty since I have this channel, it's basically turned into instant photography somehow. Not that I'm complaining or anything, but that is what it is to inform you of my experiences with this camera. I don't know if this camera is a one-off issue that I'm having, I don't know for sure, but um, pretty much every photo I take is either way, 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 way overexposed or way underexposed. I don't understand it. I was gonna do a full breakdown of this camera, it's specs like, you, like you're used to seeing on this channel, but most of it is exactly the same as the Polaroid now, right here. I already did a breakdown of this camera, uh, not, not too long ago, only a couple weeks ago. There's a link in the description below if you want to check it out. But the only difference is this one has, over the Polaroid now, it has Bluetooth and a supposedly improved light sensor uh, and a tripod mount at the bottom there. But my experience, that freaking light sensor, there's something wrong with it. I don't know. We'll get to it in just a minute. Um, and the other added thing that this has over the Polaroid now is that comes with filters. That does not work on any of these other cameras, by the way. Technically, they don't work. Um, they changed the diameter of the lens. So now it's too big. It only fits on these. That's just nitpicky, I know. But this has a sensor for these, so when you put them on, so I mean, I can, I can understand that. Uh, so when you put these on, it helps expose for the filter, you know, so it doesn't cause too much of an effect on the image, supposedly. Not been my experience. Uh, this is supposed to replace this guy, which is the One Step Plus, which it has the exactly the same features. Other than this was an autofocus, you had to actually move the lens over. Something that's not very clear with this thing is how to get into the other modes without the app. To get to exposure compensation on this, you have to press and hold the flash button on the back and then it will pull up little dash lines. Then you press it once, plus one exposure compensation, or press it again to get minus one, which means it'll be darker, supposedly, uh, for uh, your exposure. And then if you want to turn on uh, self timer, because this does have a self timer in here, you have to press the plus sign on the front and the light will go orange. There we, there we go. And then it means you got 10 second timer on. And if you double tap it, it will go green and then you have double exposure set. So you can get you know two images on one photo, which I never really use or experiment with it. Just not my thing. Uh, maybe that's something you're into, but it is there. And then you press it once more to just clear everything off of it. That way you don't accidentally, you know, take a photo you don't like. Um, the flash is also auto resets every time. So if you have it off for one shot, you have to remember to go back and turn it off again for the second shot because it will just turn back on. The Polaroid Now Plus retails for 140. It comes with the filters and the Polaroid Now is $99. And uh, to do this review, it has cost me a lot of money. It's not like I shot one pack to come up with this review. No, check this out. I don't think this is all of them. I think there's some more over there. That's a lot of photos. It's a lot of moolah wasted on this unfortunately. Now, normally I would be scanning in photos to show you example ones. Um, and I will do that. I have a few that I will definitely do that with, uh, the very few that I actually was able to get good images of, you know, uh, I just don't really feel like wasting my time scanning overexposed photos. It's just, that's a lot of time and effort that I'm not going to do. Now, not every single one came out bad. I'm, I'm not trying to say every photo I take with it. I'm just meaning 
the majority of the photos I've taken with it have been less than impressive and just disappointing. Compared to all the other Polaroid cameras I have shot with, this is what I'm talking about. Look at these photos. They're not great. They're way overexposed. Like, this, these are outside with exposure compensation minus one. And they're still coming out like this. Like one after another. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> Polaroid, what is this? What is this black bar at the bottom? And this is of my friend Dave, Dave Knopp. Hey, how's it going, man? While I was visiting down in Ohio, but what is this black bar? I'm having huge problems with this camera uh, and that being I'm not getting a single good shot. And I've used two packs through it so far. Um, the problem I'm having is it's being way overexposed every single shot. Uh, I'm on bright sunny day, shouldn't be a problem. And that is with exposure compensation set to its lowest point. It's still coming out overexposed. So I took a picture of this cool rundown barn thingy. Um, we're out riding our, well not mine, Mr. Dave Noptop. But Mr. Dave Noptop, is that even proper way? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we're out riding the bikes. I saw this pretty cool thing. So I took a picture of it with this camera to see how it comes out. But I also took it with my SX70 set to the proper settings. It's a bit humid out and kind of warm. So they're going to be a little magenta colored, unfortunately. But uh, it looks way overexposed. That's going to come out pretty much how you're looking at it. And this one, you can tell in the shadows, it you, you can see that that's supposed to be green. That is a green barn thing. This is a, you can't tell, it's basically black and white. What is happening? Sorry, I messed that up. No, it's okay. What makes this camera really neat is it does have a full manual control option uh, with the app, unfortunately. You can't do it on camera, it's kind of unfortunate. I'm gonna go F22 and shutter speed, I can go all the way to 120. 20, 1 over 125, let's do 125. Oh, I'm gonna be in it? Yeah, so stand over there. Cool. Why not? These guys will start yelling at us. All right, let's see what happens there later. I feel like this is very unacceptable. Uh, it's very frustrating. This does have some uh, more features for like the Bluetooth uh, connectivity in the app over this one, which is the One Step Plus. It has a couple new settings you can do like tripod mode where you put on a tripod and it helps you take photos in low light situations. I haven't gotten good results from it myself, unfortunately, but that is a thing. It also has aperture priority mode to where you can actually set your aperture and it will adjust the shutter based off of that, which is super cool. Um, and then of course it has manual control and uh, double exposure. It has a light pane mode uh, and a few other things. Really fun if you can get good photos with it. I know I'm really trashing this camera. I hate to do that, but it just... All right, so I uh, just shot the last photo with this. It's still developing. And this is my third pack I've shot. Wait, no, this is my second pack. I'm going to my third. And every photo is still not exposing correctly. I thought maybe it was just a couple bad batches of film because that can happen. I've had it happen with like one or two photos. But also at the bottom here, there's this weird black line as if like it didn't get exposed. Maybe something's broken in this camera. I don't know. But let's take a look at the one I just took. <laughs> this is the best one I've taken so far, I guess. Uh, this is outside in the shade. I did use a flash on this one, but okay. So this camera was 150 bucks. You know, I wasted essentially like $35 in film, about to put in another pack, but should I? So I gave Dave, my cameraman here, a Polaroid Now, regular one. Maybe we should just switch to that thing and actually get some actual photos. Now, here are a few photos that I was able to get decent results with. Here's a few photos I tested with manual mode uh, and got some interesting results with. Let's dive in a little bit more and check out some behind the scenes of creating some of these shots. Spoiler alert, I ran into some problems. Oh. Four seconds. So we're in 
the secret bunker under Mall of America uh, right now, <laughs> the Knob Top headquarters. Uh, we're going to be testing, I say testing because this is all this camera's been so far, is a test. So far, the best pictures I've been able to get with this is indoors with the flash on. <laughs> But I want to push the bounds a little bit and have some fun. I might throw on some of the filters. And I have to do like a longer exposure type thing. What do you think? I think it's going to be pretty cool. Nice. We're going to have some fun. Uh, so hopefully this works. As you guys have already seen this thing. It's been a waste of $150. $140. It was $140. Bucks. After tax though and shipping, it was over. It was like $160. I was probably close to that. So what a disappointment. Polaroid, if you're listening, I still love you. Um, it's great. I love you guys so, so, so much. I'd love to work with you guys. But anyway, let's try some shots and let's have some fun. It's saying 11 seconds for exposure in here, and that's bull. <laughs> you recording right now? Yeah. Good, because it's, it's saying 22 seconds now. 16 seconds. 32. There's no way. There's no way. Because I was outside in the middle of the night looking at a gas station from across the street and it said only it was four seconds there's something wrong with my sensor in this camera <laughs> the light sensor has to be so i don't even want to use this tripod mode right now because i'm just going to waste this picture and go over to manual control how do you feel about that not amazing i don't know oh oh maybe it's seeing eight seconds this is the perfect Eight seconds? There's no way. That's way too much. <laughs> right? Here we go. Three, two, one. That's going to be a bright one. I know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to say. It said eight seconds. Well, that was four seconds. They said eight seconds was going to be... Where it's at on the send the light meter? I'm like no way! Does it do anything? Well, what we're doing is we're trying this this starburst lens cap thingy on. And the neat thing is, if you're shooting it automatically, it has a light sensor on the front of it, so it will counter. Like this doesn't affect the exposure, but as you know, this thing exposes like so good, you know. So. JK. That's right. This is Polaroid now plus. The plus is the extra money you spend. All right, <laughs> yeah. here we go. Like literally, when I open this, like it just pool of water, just like rushed out of there. Okay, now look. There's like zero flare on this. It just actually adds it a little soft, more soft. The image is more soft. There's no starburst effect on here. It kind of makes it look like it's smoky in here, though. So that's kind of cool. But the light sensor or the light meter in here, it's not reading right. See, it's not working. Okay, it's kind of moving now. This little red dot. Yes, that was gone. But anyway, that red dot, when I had the light set up, it was telling me it was going to need eight seconds. So when I went up here at eight seconds of the shutter, see, now it's saying it's zero, which means that's where you want on the light mirror. I mean, it's like, it's going to be perfect. But that's wrong. <laughs> that's totally wrong. It's even now saying, it's reading right now eight seconds with the lights on. If we had the lights off and it was saying eight seconds. So there's something wrong with my camera. There just has to be. And they supposedly redid it and it's supposed to be better, but I'm not getting those results. And even when you're shooting inside and these images are coming out like just super dark. I mean, that one's okay. This one's probably the best one. But even then, what the heck is going on, Polaroid? Do I just have a dud camera? I don't know. So yeah, what do you guys think of this camera? Are you gonna pick it up? I I can't add it to my recommendation list. I, based on my experience with it, I would steer people away from buying it. I'd go with the now, or even go with the one step plus now <laughs> that it's older. Uh, and there's something that's replaced it, you could probably pick one of these up for fairly inexpensive, probably under $100. Uh, and you still get full app control with this as well. It doesn't have a couple of the new features that this one has, but I don't see that being an issue. The aperture priority mode on this, that is a cool feature. 
but this you can still set the full manual control of it and still get the features oh another thing i want to add to this this was just my dumb fault but it also has a lens cap right it keeps it keeps it protected but you know me if you remember my uh, video i did on the lamography uh wide camera <laughs> oh no oh man <laughs> i forgot to take the cap off <laughs> oh no <laughs> let's try that again since when you look through the viewfinder, you're not looking through the lens, guess what? Yeah, you take photos with the lens cap still on. And of course, you know, that happened. Wasted some photos. So, keep that in mind. Uh, lens cap is a great idea in theory, but if you're like me, uh, it could be an issue and you could be popping off shots and not noticing it's still on and you're wasting pictures. Uh, so, that's something to keep in mind. It'd be nice if this was on and you could not take a picture with it, you know? like. Because there's a sensor on here. Why couldn't they just do like a quick firmware update? And if this is dark, it can't take a photo. Come on, Polaroid. You got to be thinking ahead of for dumb people like me. But this camera, I think, is the one I'll be sending people to for now. Um, yeah. This one, no good for me. Hopefully this was somewhat helpful for you guys. I know this was more of a PSA slash review. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave some hate comments down below. Tell me how wrong I am, please. Let's chat, let's, let's battle. I'll see you guys in the next video. Now get out there, make some art. This was an expensive video. <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't want to add up the film I used on this.